this February, your favorite Jeopardy! champions return to compete as teams for one million dollars. The Jeopardy! All-Star Games. Brad, what are teeth? Right? Oh, man, with $4.4 million in his pocket just from playing Jeopardy, he's the winningest game show contestant in American history. Starting tonight, you can see him and an all-star team compete for another million. Who is Brad Rutter? Brad, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Brad. Oh, thanks That's a lot. That's a big accomplishment. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, well, you should. All right, so did you ever think twice about going back in? I mean, what did you feel like you had left to prove? Not once did I think twice. Mm -hmm. I don't think I really have anything left to prove. It's just so much fun to play. Like, any time they call me back, uh, I mean, obviously, there's a chance to win some money, too. But uh, it's, it's so much fun to play the game, and I've been going on for almost 20 years now. Mm -hmm. So I know everybody on the show now. I get to see my old friends. The other contestants are fantastic. It's just a pleasure to do it, uh, even if they didn't pay me, but don't tell anybody that. Right, right. right. Don't want them to know that. Um, I, I want to ask you a little about the tournament, but I'm curious if you can tell me about, like, that very first time if you remember that very first time you pulled the buzzer were you excited the first time you were on jeopardy was it an entirely different experience than it is i now? was terrified really? yeah. terrified i've been watching the show since i was a kid so uh -huh. uh, i finally got on stage and you're there and alex there's alex trebek he's uh -huh. 10 feet from you yeah and uh the people I, were, I was playing against in my first game were both really good and i was really lucky to win that game uh -huh. so yeah i mean i don't know it's all a blur and i don't know how i pulled it off but i somehow did well now trebek has got to be right. like a friend of yours plus you're playing against some other big personalities, Ken Jennings, Austin Rogers. Uh, is there like a camaraderie? Is there a, Do you a heavy talk? competition? Uh, both. Both. Both? There, there is a camaraderie and there's a lot of trash talk. Actually, Buzzy is the uh, is the trash talk king, so keep an eye out for him. Um, on tonight's episode, actually, I think mm -hmm. he comes pretty hard. So uh, uh, I, I think I tried to get back at him, but uh, it's all a blur as to which taping went where. So. Right, right. But ch check it all out. You'll see some. You'll see some of that. Well, cool. You are the team captain. What went behind your choice in picking your teammates? Well, I really just wanted to have a balanced team. Mm -hmm. So um, I went back and looked at tape of people, I, li literally just like the NFL draft. And, uh, you know, I felt really good about my teammates, Larissa and David. I got them both higher on the on. They were both higher on my draft board than I got them. So uh, you can't play the same round twice in the same match. Right. So that's, I think, going to be a real advantage for us because I, I don't think we really have any weaknesses. We, mm -hmm. I feel good about anybody playing in any round. Mm -hmm. uh, back in 2010, you and Ken Jennings lost to IBM's Watson. Was, would they have let you draft Watson? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, why would you want to draft Watson? I mean, he'd be a lousy teammate talking yeah, about, so. like, what is Toronto? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all about the fun and the jokes and the trash talking. Like, yeah. I don't think Watson would be very good at that. All right. Well, we can't let you go without playing a game of our own. They Are never you ready? can. <laughs> right? I imagine you're used to that at this point. <laughs> We're celebrating Oscars all week long, so we wrote an entire Oscars-themed Jeopardy category with five different answers. Okay, I've been really busy, so I haven't had a chance to Ooh. see all the Oscar-nominated films. Excellent, this year. excellent. This you know what? I'm, I'm happy. Sure you're still I'm happy win, to hear that. <laughs> um, okay, a record number of women uh, were nominated for Oscars this year, so the category is called Gaga for the Ladies. Okay, all the questions have a connection to this year's Oscar-nominated actresses. Does that make sense? Sure. Oscar-nominated actresses, more women than ever nominated. All right. Uh, <clears throat> we're going to start with a $200 clue. Put on the voice. Okay, here we go. Uh, this year, he rocked his way to a Best Actor nomination singing the song from which Best Actress nominee Lady Gaga takes her name. Oh, uh, that with Radio Gaga. What is Radio Gaga? Ooh, that's the word. He. Right. Well, oh, he. Oh, who was Rami Malek? Ah, uh, there Ooh, we go. go ahead. That was All a very right. long, winding question. Yeah, it, you know, we're trying to mislead you here. We're trying to catch you <laughs> off your game. All right, for $400, before Lady Gaga, she made history last year by getting nominated for acting and best song. If she had won, we bet she was going to cry. Oh, man. I don't remember. Cry. Dramatic. Nope. Who is Mary J. Blige? Yes. Mary J. Blige. Yes, of course. All right. Okay. The $600 question. Either of the two women nominated this year for playing an author who gets scandalously outed as a ghostwriter? Uh, who is Meryl Streep? No, Glenn Close. Oh, yeah, oh crap. Oh, man. I've been getting them confused Brad. since the 80s. Really? Yes. <laughs> 
Ooh. with well they kind of I said the same thing they kind of look alike don't yeah, they, they do. ET live trivia is a little tough oh. isn't it it is <laughs> see that's what I, I, I would have not known exactly and then not buzzed in if mm -hmm. I had the option yeah play right. safe I get you yeah, yeah. well the $800 question is in the favorite Olivia Coleman as Queen and eyes a model of this location 166 years before Winston Churchill was born there Oh, oh uh, this is right in my wheelhouse. What is Marlboro, Marlboro Palace? Ooh, we've got Blenheim Palace. Wait, oh, you're no. we're actually wrong. No, no, you're no, right. no, you're actually right. <laughs> really? Is, the Duke of Marlboro lived there, but it is called Blenheim Palace. Yeah. Okay. You just have so much. I'm just lying right. by how smart you are. I think it's this for a, a lot loop of here. See, Great that worked knowledge. out even better for me than getting it right. Yeah, it's right. The, the name of the family is Marlboro, but I guess it is yes. technically the Blenheim Palace. Yeah. Blenheim Palace, yeah. Uh, we're really going to leave it to the judges whether or not you get the $800 for no, that No, don't one. give it to me. Okay, yeah. don't give it to you. All right. Like to um, here we go. Uh, pew, 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 pew. This is the Daily Tubble. <laughs> okay. That's the sound. Do I have I, any, I know. Do I even have any money to buy? I know you've got at least $200. Does he have any more? Yeah. You have sixteen. Yeah, you have sixteen hundred. What would you like to wager? Let's make it a true daily double. Okay, okay. he's wagering all of it. Here we go. How much? Uh, a first time. Here we go. A first time nominee this year. Her first name and last name could both refer to a monarch. One in Latin, one in English. Oh, uh, who is Regina King? Hey, hey! 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 When the Thank big money's so on the much. line, I always come. Through. Good Golly. job. Yes. You inspire me. Oh, well. I don't know why. I'm You're flattered. so smart. All right. Really before, before we let you go, uh, what is Trebek like when the cameras aren't rolling? He's very funny, actually. He's got a very quick wit and dry sense of humor. So, yeah, uh, yeah when, the, when the camera's on, he, can be, he takes it very seriously. But as seriously as, as he is when the camera's on, mm -hmm. off camera, he's just as goofy. That's oh, so great. That's Sounds like so much know. fun. Uh, you can watch Team Brad take to the buzzers in the Jeopardy All-Star Tournament starting tonight. Brad, thank you for coming. Good luck. Good luck. My pleasure. Thanks, guys. Thank you.